Right then, off we go. Well, it's kind of really hard compact sort of byways anyway, so not really a lot to, you know, compare to at the moment. When you've got the on-road tyres or off-road tyres. Yeah, so, uh, so just uh, heading out on these uh, byways here, some narrow ones, some turn into tracks, some um, quite almost like road-like actually. Uh, we're going to see how they get and then we'll uh, uh, hit a few back roads as well. Still just going to do one big loop and see how we go really. Alright, so... Uh, Fortunately, as it's raining, and it's that kind of horrible drizzly rain as well. It's uh, let's see, uh, let's get up on the pegs here, get a bit of weight on this front tyre, a bit gravity here. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's that horrible rain, drizzly rain, so it just kind of sticks to you, and it's not really heavy, it's not really light. Um, just see how I get. Now these these uh, byways actually haven't been on for a long time, and I'm actually I'm on the main road now. But this is still classes byway here. Would you believe? There you go. Oh yeah, it's really chucking it down now. Oh yeah, you want to test a brand new set of tyres? Well, yeah, it's not being friendly to me, that's for sure. So I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to keep on wiping the lens on this. I'm sure. Right, I think this is a great idea to come out tonight, wasn't it? What a great idea this was. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, push on through. I'm on it now, so see how far I get. I'm hoping that my, uh, the visor... You know what? I'm going to put this visor up. Not the visor, the winch, windshield. It'll protect my phone a little bit. If I can get into the trees a little bit, I'll get a bit more protection from the elements, you know. Alright. Let's wipe the lens here a bit. That's what we got. It's under the trees actually. I should protect it quite a bit here, which is nice. I'm going to have to chop up this video quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, it should be on the dirt. Now. Evening. goes by some houses and then it just goes off on its own route here. Oh, 
Alright, oh my god. Whoop. Whoop. Over the moguls. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you can already, although it's compact here, and it's hard to tell the difference right now between road tyres and off-road tyres, one thing you do know, you, you can already tell that with the off-roady style tyres, you'll have more, a bit more directional control on the dirt, because, you know, the, the noblets dig in a little bit better. Um, so, you know... That's immediately noticeable, whereas on the on the road it's a lot more sloppy, so it kind of, you know, it, um... Yeah, so it doesn't, you know, they don't work as well. Um, also, you notice that, you know, whereas on the... Whereas on the, uh, with the off, uh, so on road, the road tyres off-road, uh, you tend to slide down um, little bits of incline, whereas on this, you, these you don't. You know, it kind of it sticks to the the track a little bit better when it's on an incline. So anyway, go left here. These moguls here. Let the bike just bounce beneath me. sandy beneath me here so just letting the front tyre find its track let the rear tyre just dig in yeah it's a lot just as I thought I mean on, on road these sort of tyres yeah you'll see a, a, a massive performance deficit but uh, actually off road you'll see a massive performance you know enhancement really the end of the moguls now. Yeah, I remember coming along here in the winter, just crawling along. I mean, look at the ruts here. Oh, they are massive. 
Yeah, so trying to get along here in the winter and I had to turn back because I was on the road tires and it was just rotted everywhere. Obviously those huge ones which are about a metre deep or something. Uh, but you know, a lot of the other ones as well and it was just, well, in truth it was a bit of a nightmare. So uh, I had to turn back. I actually picked up the my puncture on the front tyre on that trip as well. So that was, a, well, that was a, probably a couple of winters ago actually. So yeah. Could not be it. This is a byway, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Beauty. Nice. Oh, that's a bit drier actually under here. This is always always welcome. Here, I'm going to stand up and just put my weight on the front tyre a little bit. Let the bike roll beneath me. Drizzly as hell. Oh, it's kind of into almost into it like a private drive now. Oh, and some more moguls. Still very gravelly, but very still very loose underneath here. Wow. You can almost get lulled into a you know, false sense of security, really, in a lot of these a lot of places, you know, a lot of times. for a little cut through here. This is byway, but it's how weird. On the map, it's byway, but I think 
it's been changed. Oh well. Live and learn, on to the next one. Alright, let's see where this gets me. Look at this place. Nice. Just take me there. Oop. See what's down here. Well, here we go. Yeah, so once again, you're just going to have to uh, apologise for the quality of the video. You know, if there's, uh, there's rain on the on the lens. Yeah, <coughs> the heavens opened as I uh, 
about to uh, went to go on the ride and I was debating whether to go for it or not but you know m m purely because of the video quality but I thought wow well, what the hell I really wanted to put these uh, uh, you know new tyres uh, to the test and give them a bit of a good show so I thought that, well I thought I'd go for it why not This is uh, more like the British summer that we historically used to. You know, wet days. You know, sunny days, dry days, and then wet days. And it's usually the ground is pretty damp. But this year, well, 2018, as, as it is now, you know, it's just been a really long, dry summer. And it's literally the last couple of days that start to rain in different places. And, you know, and uh, just just by pure coincidence, you know, I've uh, now changed my tyres to more off-roady tyres as well. So it's uh, you know, it's um, let's see how they fare in the in the wet conditions. You know, I was, I was really going to change these tyres more towards the autumn, but my road tyres just didn't hold out really. Uh, you know, I pushed them as far as I could. Probably, in all fairness, I'll openly admit, possibly a bit too, you know, a bit further than I should have done really. But there you go. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd come out for a nice summer's evening ride. Uh, you know, got a few. Uh, so this, uh, this way, I think. Could be wrong here. Could be this could, is, is this right or wrong? Yeah, got a few uh, trails I wanted to get, a few byways. Yeah, that's it. I uh, wanted to get onto. So, uh, well, you know, just accept the weather, what it is, really. I've got the waterproofs in the back. I mean, actually, my legs are staying relatively dry, you know. It's, it's not, not really an issue. And uh, the visor, oh, sorry, the windscreen, windshield, whatever you want to call it, is actually protecting my phone quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, doing all right so far. I say so far. I really need to get back underneath the trees, actually. You know, get a bit of shelter from this. Uh... So you just pull out in front of me, why don't you? Right, so I need to go left up here somewhere. <coughs> yeah, left here. Byway, there we go. And it's not really, it's not a drizzle now, it actually is coming down quite quite significantly now. Yeah we're getting there we go, we're getting puddling already. Well 
It's just nice, isn't it? This is beauty. Before I actually go further, let me just check. There we go. What's up? Uh, you know what? No, I think it's not, not as close off to bikes that way, so go this way. Beautiful. Right, right then, off we go. See where else I can get to, shall I? Where are we off to here? Wipe the visor again, or wipe the lens again. Okay. Yeah, I assume so. This way, I see.
Right then, let's see where, where this takes me. Ooh, duck, duck. Yo, 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 yo. Wipe this lens again. Nice. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? It's going through here. Nice byway through the trees, it's always nice. Flat track as well, always makes it, you know, easy going as well. Where you've got the road, uh, roadie tyres or off-road tyres. Just makes it just a lot nicer, doesn't it, really? So there's a no cut through there. I'll just keep on this one for now. holes in here, aren't there? Yeah. Gotta be careful. Well, that's why you sit down on the on the seat sometimes, you know, it's probably the worst thing to do, you know, if you're going to have a rough right, you know, get get uh, get up on the pegs and get a better view. You can also let the bike roll through you, so right there, I got caught up there myself, you know, just uh, wasn't expecting uh, that, that big hole. Lulled into the false sense of security, I thought it was going to be a flat track. And all of a sudden, so I just pushed myself up on the pegs when I thought I was losing the bike. And um, and that labelled the bike just to wobble beneath me. And then I could just keep control of it, you know. Uh, coming up soon here, isn't it? Yeah, I know it says horses, but this is a byway here. Ah, it is, it is a byway here. Right. Oh. Somebody's trying to... Is that, is that, there's an animal catcher or cage there, or we're going to... Um, yeah. Trap, animal trap there. I, don't know, I wonder what they're trying to catch then. the hill. Beautiful. Oh, look at that pheasant. Wow. Missed the junction here. What a donut. 
Alright, let's go and have a look and see what it's down here. Uh, up on the pegs, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's a footpath there. Oh, they're stuck down here. I don't want to get... Oh, just get the lens wiped. Uh, just make sure there's no big branches through here. Down. There we go. There's a metal post sticking, or a footing of a post sticking out there. Get up on the pegs here and have a better view of what the, what the frig is going on on the surface. wobbles there with a tight oh got, it's got clothes lined again with the brambles keep a good look at the you know you're kind of concentrating on the on the the surface but you've got to watch out for that that kind of low hanging fruit or the you know the the stuff that's just sort of coming across at your neck height or visor height always have the visor down that's what I would say as well Come on, Mr. Pheasant. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Just shooing you away. Oh, loads of them. God, he's got a harem here, hasn't he? Blimey. Come on, girls. On you go. Into the trees. Go on. Go on. Into the trees. Go on. Go on. Blimey. Come on. I'm not exactly going fast here, girls, you know, just... Up you go, there you go, finally. Oh. Oi! Uh, duck down. On the pegs. Let's see where we go. Alright, uh
Look at that. Jesus. That's some big old ruts there, weren't they? Cry. Like a crevasse going in down there. That's a bit sketchy in the centre there, let me just... Let me just go through here. Find the best route through. See how deep these are before I start scraping the pegs here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, make sure the pegs aren't catching. Still got height on here, that's fine. through there, I did. Let's just jump on the fake so you get a better view.
Wow. Nice, nice and flat. Yeah, it's good. And well, the great thing about coming out in this weather as well, that it kind of puts off a lot of people, you know, whether on horses, whether, you know, walking. You know, so it's Saturday evening, so most people are, you know, going out enjoying themselves or, or preparing to go out and enjoy themselves. Whereas old Muggins here has <laughs> decided to go on his bike. Well, you know, there you go, that's just me all over. Hey, this is a nice trail. Wow, look at this one. Uh, nice ditch on the right hand side. Stay away from that. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, that was, that's good. Well, let's just come out of then. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, Deep actually, don't it? Oh, got my got my boots wet, lower legs wet, but actually, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't too wasn't too deep at all. I didn't think so. We'd had a little bit of rain. It's not like going to be that much to. Worry me on that. I can see the bottom of it as well. It's always a good sign when it's had lots of uh, lots of rain. If uh, you know the, you can't see the bottom because of all the silt that's been uh, pushed down. Then uh, yeah, it gives you an idea of uh, well. If you can't see the bottom, then really you either need to walk it or just avoid it completely. You know. Uh, Yeah. Try off the brakes a bit. <laughs> 